Okay, the most important thing is to clean the glass thoroughly before attempting to etch the product. This is to remove all grease, fingerprints, and dust, and everything that will prohibit the etching from taking place. Okay, now we're going to take the rubbing edge stencil and you're going to cut one of the designs from the sheet of the stencil. This is a two-part stencil. There's the design is on the top sheet or the carrier sheet and then you have the frosted backing sheet. Okay, now we'll position the stencil where we'd like it on the glass. We're going to take four small pieces of masking tape to hold the stencil in place temporarily during the application process. All right, now during the application process, you're going to take the wooden burnisher stick that comes with the design and stencil package and you're going to rub firmly down on the top of the stencil. Not digging in, but firmly back and forth, left to right, right to left. Until the entire blue area, dark blue area, turns to a light blue, signaling you that the stencil is adhering to the glass. Okay, when the entire stencil is rubbed down on the glass, you take, peel the tape back and peel the top stencil carrier sheet back. Now in this part here, if you've missed any pieces, you can always lay the sheet back down again and re-rub. But in this case, everything is rubbed down. Okay, now we're going to take masking tape and we're going to build a frame around the stencil to protect the surrounding glass. We're going to overlap the masking tape onto the stencil just slightly. So this is to keep the etching cream from seeping underneath the tape and spoiling the project. As you can see, we're building a frame around the entire stencil, overlapping completely. A little bit of preparation in the beginning makes it better for a better project at the end. Now, once the tape is on there, you're going to take the frosted backing sheet that you discarded earlier, and you're going to take it and you're going to rub lightly over the tape and the stencil to make sure the tape is adhered to the stencil and the stencil is adhered to the glass. Okay, now we're going to take the Armor Edge Glass Etching Cream with the applicator brush, and we're going to brush a thick layer of etching cream over the entire stenciled area. Don't be afraid to use extra etching cream because this is important to make sure the etching cream activates properly on the, on the glass itself. Now once the entire design is covered with etching cream, we're going to wait 60 seconds for the etching cream to activate on the glass through the stenciled area. Any more than that, you risk the chance of the stencil, uh, the etching cream undercutting the stencil and your lines and uh, sharp details will not come out as clearly. Okay, now we've waited 60 seconds. We're going to take the project. If you're working at home, you would take this over to your sink and under warm to hot running water, you would remove all the etching cream. In this particular case, we're using a, a bowl full of water and we're just taking it off with the brush. We want to remove all traces of the etching cream because it's done its job now. Okay, now we've taken, removed all the excess etching cream. Now we're going to remove the tape and remove the stencil. If you're working at home under warm hot running water, the water will actually help you remove this piece of stencil. But in this particular case, we're taking it off. We're going to use a little window cleaner, and we're also going to use a nylon scrubby that's available at most craft hobby and fabric shops. And you're going to use this. The little abrasiveness of the uh, scrubby will help you remove all the additional stencil pieces. Okay, now we've taken off all the etching cream, we've taken off the stencil, we've taken off the tape, we're going to clean the glass thoroughly one last time to remove all the fingerprints, dirt, and any traces of etching cream. Everything must be removed from the glass. All right, and there you have it. Within less than a minute, you have a complete etched design, permanently etched on a coaster, and it's done by you for under a dollar.